students welcome to need you jn classes and in today's class we are going to discuss about the last concept of the earthworm that is uh, reproductive system in the earthworm we successfully completed all the systems digestive system circulatory system respiratory system excretory system and yesterday class nervous system and the today last concept reproductive system and after reproductive system and i will give the single short class for earthworm complete discussion about the earthworm let's complete this the the reproductive system in earthworm reproductive system a reproductive system yes in this first of all you have to discuss about earthworm is the organism which is hermaphrodite what is the meaning of hermaphrodite means which indicates that both the sex organs are present in one individual so earthworm is not a male earthworm is not a female Why? because one earthworm contains male reproductive organ and a female reproductive organ if one organism having only male reproductive organ means we say he is a male if the organism having only female reproductive organ means we say it is a female if both the male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ present in same individual at that time we say that organism is bisexual organism or also called uni so you are also called hermaphrodite which indicates sexes are not separate nothing but sexes are not separate means both sexes are present in the same individual earthworm belongs to that category annelids porifers nidarians all those that comes from the animal kingdom we discussed now we remember what is a male reproductive organ what is a female that is very common the male reproductive organ is a testis the male reproductive organs are testis in every organism that is a common the male reproductive organs are testis how many pairs of testis are present there is a presence of two pairs of testis the earthworm contains two pairs of testis means total four in number and female reproductive organ what is the female reproductive organ the female reproductive organs are ovaries the female reproductive organs are ovaries and there is a presence of how many pairs of ovary means one pair of ovary means total how many two ovaries are present testis how many four in number means two pairs and ovaries how many one pair means two in number sir where they are located yes when you go for the location immediately we have to represent the diagram of the earthworm and you know that the earthworm is having the number of segments like this there's a branch of all these are the segments just to consider segment number 1 segment number 2 number 3 number 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay etc 16 17 18 we have to represent okay this is the anterior opening what is the anterior opening mouth just you consider this is the segment number 18 you consider this is the segment number 18 i can't draw all the segments na huh? yeah now this is once again segment number 1 segment number 2 number 3 number 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You consider this as eighteenth segment. Eighteenth segment. Why I am telling telling particularly eighteenth segment means you comes to know. Yeah, here you remember I told that this is the eighth segment and it is the ninth segment and it is the tenth segment. Okay, let me represent why all the segments you have to get. Let's find out that. Ignore the first four segments. You consider this is the segment number six, segment number seven, segment number eight, segment number nine, and segment number ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. These are the fourteen segments, and this is fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, it is eighty segment. Anyways, leave that one. So already we discussed that it is the sixth segment. The sixth segment contains a one pair of spermatheca like this, and even in the seventh segment also there is a presence of second pair of spermatheca. The spermatheca that is responsible for the storing of sperm, storing of sperm. And next one, eighth segment also contains a third pair of spermatheca. In the introduction, morphology of earthworm we discussed. Yeah. and even in the ninth pair also there is a presence of four, fourth pair of spermatheca in this manner spermatheca are present in the sixth seventh and eighth and ninth and tenth you remember this spermatheca is storing what what it is storing yes it is storing the sperms all these are the sperms all this is the sperm the spermatheca is storing the sperms very good 
already so in this form. Now come to the testis. Where testis is located? You told two pairs of testis is present. Yes. The first pair of testis is present in the 10th segment and second pair that is present in the 11th segment. 10th and 11th segment of the earthworm contains a pair of testis. Let's represent that. This is the testis number 1. First pair of, first pair of testis that is present in the 10th segment. Okay, very good. And next one. In the 11th, there is a presence of second pair of testes. This is the second pair of testes. These two are testes. Male reproductive organ. Male reproductive. Testes will synthesize what? Yes, it is synthesizing these forms. It is synthesizing these forms. The screen is representing that it is synthesizing the sperms. It is synthesizing. And these sperms, this is the duct. And in this manner, there is a presence of the duct. What duct is this? From here there is a formation of one duct and this duct is fusing with this one and making this like this. This is the duct. The duct is transporting the sperm because of that this duct is called sperm duct. Now you remember in this manner it is a continuing and you know in the 18th segment in the ventrolateral side here there is a presence of pores. What pores are these? These pores we discussed as these are male genital pores. These we discussed as male genital pores. You know, in morphology, in the introduction concept, we discussed uh, the ventral side is identified by the presence of genital pores. Male genital pores are two in number, and female genital pore is one in number, and the female genital pore is present in the mid ventral surface. Mid ventral surface. Now, this red color is vasa difference or vas difference or sperm duct. We can say in this manner, there is a presence of a sperm duct. Like this, all this is the sperm duct. Sperm duct is also called a vas defense. The sperm duct is also called vas defense. Or simply we call it a sperm duct. The duct that is carrying the sperm because of the toll it is the sperm duct. Very long. And which is extending from 10, 11 segments to up to which segment? 18th segment. And near the 18th segment, this sperm duct is receiving the one duct because of presence of a one gland. Because of presence of a one gland, this is the duct. Uh, this duct is called a prostrate duct. This duct is called, in this manner, there is a presence of a one gland is present. This gland is called prostrate gland. This gland is called prostrate gland. One pair of prostrate glands are present. And from the prostrate gland, there is a formation of one duct. That duct is called a prostrate duct. Prostrate duct. Now you observe that. The red color is the sperm duct and this black color is the prostrate duct. Now these two ducts are commonly opening into the male genital pore. The sperm duct and the prostrate duct is commonly opening into the male genital pore. And the prostrate gland is adding the nutrients. Now vas defense contains what? The vas defense contains sperms. Vas defense contains what are sperm. Now the prostrate gland is adding the nutrition, so nutritive fluid, and it is releasing out through the male genital pore in the 18th segment. Sir, how is it possible? You told spermatica is responsible for the storage of sperms, and the, they are present in the 6 to 9 segment, and but the sperms are releasing in the 18th segment. How the releasing sperms will store in spermatica? One thing you remember. This spermatica is storing the sperms. Just you consider this is the earthworm A. This is the earthworm A. Earthworm A. Now name of the earthworm is A. The spermatica which is present in earthworm A is storing the sperms of another earthworm. It is very very important. This is the earthworm A. Earthworm A have the spermatica. This sperm, the spermatica is storing the sperm, but these sperms which are present in spermatica, these sperms are not earthworm A sperms. These are the sperms of earthworm B. You remember it like that. And how, how the B earthworm is giving? Later we go discussing about that one only. This is about the male reproductive part. Male reproductive part. Now go for the female reproductive system. Female reproductive, which contains a pair of ovaries. A pair of ovaries. You remember this is the septa. You know what is the meaning of septa? Septa means line. It is the septum. It is the septum. Now in the 13th and 14th segment, not 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 yet. This is the septum 12 and 13. We can say this is the septum. Septum means what a line. We are discussing it so far. 
we discussing it so far now in this septum in this septum this septum here there is a presence of a female reproductive organ that female reproductive organs we call it as ovary so which is telling that ovary is not completely present in the 12th segment ovaries are not completely present in the 13th segment they are present in between the in between between means inter inter on segment yes segment on segment where on the line so inter segmental septum we can say inter means between in between the segments not in the 13th segment not in the 12th segment in between those two segments it is present so inter means between between the segments on a line septa the female reproductive organs ovaries are present and this below this ovary below this ovary there is a funnel shaped structure is present two funnel shaped structures are present those we call them as ovarian funnels and this ovarian funnels are making the oviduct like this oviduct like this and this oviduct is fusing with the female genital pore and there is a release of ovum outside egg the only thing that you have to remember is ovaries location a pair of ovaries are not located in the 12th segment not located in the 13th segment they are located in between the 13th and 12th segment on the line septa so intersegmental septa and below to the ovary funnel shaped ovarian funnel is present ovarian funnel is leading to oviduct here ovarian funnel is leading to oviduct both the oviducts are fusing and opening out as female genital pore and releasing of egg and one more thing you know in a mature earthworm in a mature earthworm fourth segment is covered by a glandular structure the fourth 15th and as well as 16th segment fourth fifth 14th 15th and 16th segment is covered by a glandular tissue you know that glandular tissue is called clitellum which is indicating that the egg is releasing into the clitellum the egg is releasing into the clitellum this is about the reproductive system in the earthworm what they have given in the ncrt test book so you remember the important thing is this is the earthworm a spermatica which are present in the earthworm a those sperms which are present in the spermatic of earthworm a they are the not that earthworm those are the sperms of another earthworm yes how it is received now mating sex how earthworms participate in sex how earthworms participate in sex a important concept you just remember now this is the earthworm a and earthworm b two earthworms you have to take earthworm a this is the earthworm a in this manner earthworm a is present and it is the anterior opening it is the anterior opening in this manner and it is the posterior opening anus posterior opening is what anus it is the anterior opening what is the anterior opening mouth and this is earthworm a earthworm a so you know in the 6th 7th 8th and 9th segment you will consider this as the 6th segment you consider this as the 7th segment it has 8th segment and it has 9th segment 9th segment where there is a presence of spermatica like this like this there is a presence of spermatica okay fine now you take the earthworm b now earthworm b at the at the time of mating both earthworm a and earthworm b two earthworms are involved to participate in this sex mating purpose so two earthworms will come okay one earthworm is entered now the another earthworm which we call it as earthworm b the earthworm b is coming in this direction this is the anterior opening mouth sixth segment seventh segment eighth segment ninth segment in this manner in this manner in this manner this is the posterior opening anus posterior opening anus now what happened this is the earthworm b and this is the anterior opening which is known as mouth see now earthworm a mouth is present this side earthworm b mouth is present means both of them are in the opposite direction like this both of them are opposite direction and they are very close to each other that close we call it as juxta position juxta what is the meaning of juxta means which are becoming close now both the earthworms are very close to each other very close to the, each other and both are in the opposite direction earthworm a and the earthworm b now you remember here you consider this is the 18th segment 18th segment contain male genital pore 18th segment contain male genital pore these are the male genital pores of earthworm a 
Now same like that only this earthworm also having the fourth segment, fifth segment, sixth segment, seventh segment. Okay, let's consider it is the sixth, it is the seventh, and it is the eighth, it is the ninth. And where there is a branch of spermatica here like this, like this the spermatica is present. Then same like that only in the eighteenth segment there is a presence of a male genital pore. Here there is a presence of male genital pore, a pair of male genital pore. Now let's see what happened here. What happened here? Now these are the male genital pores of earthworm B, and these are the male genital pores of earthworm A. Now what it is doing means 18th segment male genital pore releasing of sperms. Now exchanging is happening. Now earthworm B is releasing its sperms and giving and storing in the spermatica of earthworm A like this. So earthworm B male genital pores are releasing these sperms into the spermatica of earthworm A. Now same like that only. Now our male genital pores which are present in earthworm A releasing these sperms into the spermatica of earthworm B. Nothing but what happened here? Exchange of sperms. Exchange of sperm is happened means earthworm B. Exchanged its sperms to earthworm A and earthworm A exchanged its sperms to the earthworm B. In this manner, mating is happened. This is the sex that is happened between the two earthworms. So, exchange of sperms that is happened by a pore that is called spermatophore. That is called spermatophore. What there? Packets of sperms. Packets of sperm is called spermatophore. Packets of sperms is called spermatophore. Now, packet of spermatophore of B earthworm is given to A, A earthworm given to the B earthworm. In this manner, mating is completed. Now, both the earthworms are separate. Now, both the earthworms. Now, here is the earthworm A. Now, earthworm A contains spermatica. In that spermatica, there is a presence of earthworms B sperms. Earthworm B sperms. Now, what is going to happen means fertilization is going to happen. Now, let's make some big diagram here. So, and you open. Post to open it, anus, like this. Now, this you consider it is the segment number six. And this is the segment number 7, segment number 8, segment number 9. Okay. And where there is a presence of spermatica. Like this, the spermatica is present. Spermatica. 4 pairs of spermatica, so total 8 spermatica is present. As we discussed in the introduction like this. Now this is the earthworm A. Earthworm A. Now inside of this spermatica, there is a presence of what? Sperms. All these are the sperms. These are the sperms of, yes, tell me the answer. Earthworm B. These are the sperms of Earthworm B. Now, you consider, if you continue like this, here we are going to find the 14th segment, 15th segment and 16th segment. Yes, in the 14th segment, there is a presence of what? Female genital pore. And this female genital pore, like, the 14th and 15th segment is covered with the glandular tissue. That glandular tissue we call it as clitellum. Yes. Here there is a presence of what? Clitellum. There is a presence of clitellum like this. 14th, 15th, 16th segments are covered with the clitellum. Now, this female genital pore which is unclosed by clitellum is releasing the egg. So, which is saying that egg is present inside of the clitellum. Egg is present inside of the clitellum. Now, what the earthworm is doing? For example, this is the atwa, this is the atwa, where spermatica is present. Now, this is the structure clitellum. Clitellum contains what? Clitellum contains eggs. Eggs are present. Now, what happened means, this atwa will lose the clitellum like this. It is losing the clitellum. Means, actually, a clitellum is attached to the atwa body very tightly. Now, what it is doing means, it is losing the clitellum and atwa starts moving like this. Earthworm starts moving like this and reaching the clitellum up to towards the spermatica. The segments of 6, 7, 8 and 9. Once again I will tell you. Here the clitellum is present. Clitellum with eggs. 
right them with water eggs and as well as nutrients are also present now earthworm will lose this clitellum after making loose now the earthworm moves backward direction in this manner backward direction and reaching up to the locations of segments like 6 7 8 and 9 where spermatheca is present and from this spermatheca sperms are released now this clitellum is having the eggs now sperms are present fertilization is happened and those zygote that we call the zygote and that zygote is covered with a shield in this manner there is a presence of number of fertilized eggs are present this box is called cocoon this box is called cocoon which contains zygote and in this manner there are so many cocoons will be present all these are the so many cocoons will be present now the earthworm what it is doing it is releasing the clitellum in the soil so nothing but making the cocoons instead of releasing the cocoons instead of the soil and now after a few days after a few weeks after a few weeks from the cocoons what is going to come outside earthworm baby earthworms are coming outside baby earthworm on an average two minimum each cocoon will give two earthworm minimum and maximum it can give 20 minimum two and maximum from each cocoon minimum two earthworms may come outside or maximum 20 earthworms may come outside on an average four earthworms will come outside on an average so fertilization is happening instead of cocoons which contain nutritive fluid and etc after fertilization zygote is formed zygote leads to embryo from each cocoon minimum two and maximum 20 embryos will come outside on an average four embryos are going to come outside in this manner the reproduction between the two earthworms is happened and this fertilization is called what fertilization earthworms are showing the cross fertilization very very important earthworm is showing the cross fertilization why because this earthworm is a male female genital pore releases the egg this egg is not fertilized by this earthworm system this egg is fertilized by the sperms which are present in the spermatica. These sperms are the earthworm B sperms. So such type of fertilization is called cross fertilization, not a self fertilization. Why? Because earthworm A egg is fertilized by the sperms of earthworm B. Earthworm B egg is fertilized by the sperms of earthworm A. So such type of fertilization is called cross fertilization. And fertilization is happening instead of cocoon. And a cocoon is released in the soil. From each cocoon minimum 2 embryos will have also maximum 20 or on average 4. In this manner earthworm is also very useful for the farmers. Why? Because they are making the burrows. Na? Yeah, they are making the burrows like this. Because of presence of a prostomium making the burrows and free losing the soil. When soil became loose, the penetration of the root will go freely. And as well as uh, fertility, they are increasing the fertility of the soil. That increasing the fertility of the soil by earthworm is called vermicompost. Vermicompost. Vermicompost means increasing the fertility of the soil is called vermicompost. Worm casting means tracing the earthworms whether they are present in the soil or not. In morphology we discussed it. Vermicompost means increasing the fertility of the soil and because of that only their earthworms are called friends of farmers and even earthworm is also responsible for catching the fishes. Why? Because they will eat, uh, the earthworm is eaten by the fishes. Uh, fisher, fishermen, they will use the earthworm for catching the fishes. Yes, in the game of fish they are using. In this manner, earthworm is beneficial for the human beings in two aspects for responsible for catching the fishes and as well as increasing the fertility of the soil by making the burrows etc that is about the reproductive system of the earthworm i hope you understood and in the next session we are going to discuss about the entire full concept of earthworm if you like the class please do subscribe and like and as well as share thank you thank you all of you